Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's the 1st of October which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see the first set I created and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're interested in downloading the free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to sheet load of cards, what I do is stop by each month and provide a free printable for my subscribers that shows you how you can use one sketch and get the most out of just a couple pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. This file is always free for my subscribers. Make sure to keep watching so you can find out how to download the file for yourself. But before we get to that, I'm going to share with you a look at the latest sheet load of cards, talk about some of the supplies that I use for my first set, and show you that first set that I made. Now tomorrow I will be back with the process video that shows you how I made these. Also tomorrow all of my collaborators will be joining me sharing their takes on the latest sheet load of cards. So make sure to go ahead and click on those links in my description box below and go ahead and subscribe to their channels, follow them on Instagram or on their blogs. Each month the file is two pages. The first one has the sketch and the supply list. It also includes dimensions for a single card if you don't want to make a sheet load and I usually try to give some alternatives or other ways to use the sketch. If you follow the sketch and supply list along with the cutting guides for the October 2020 sheet load of cards, you will yield eight cards using just two pieces of pattern paper and six pieces of cardstock. And up at the top, there are a couple hashtags that if you want to share your sheet load online, please use those so I can find them either here on YouTube or over on Instagram. If you're not on YouTube or Instagram, you can also send a card in to me to be featured at my end of the month video. I will link the show us your sheet load video in the description box below so you can get all of the details. The second page of the file is the cutting guides. It's going to show you how to cut each piece of pattern paper and each piece of cardstock to yield the total cards for the month. These are PDFs, so when you download the file, you can view it on screen if you want to, or you can print it off so you have a hard copy. Now mine is printed in color, but it also works just as well if you only have a black and white printer. For my first set of cards this month, I used a Gina K Design stamp set for my sentiments and her Blue Lagoon ink spot. I of course added some bling with gems. I used a light pink and a dark pink. For my pattern papers and actually for one of my card stocks, I used paper from the Woodland Wings Hot Buy Pad from Michaels. And also you'll notice that for my card bases this month, I used some heavyweight vellum. Are you ready to see my first set? One thing that I love when you use vellum for card bases is that you can see just a little hint at the inside from the front, kind of like when I do clear cards. 
Now I do have a piece of white cardstock on the inside that is hidden by my sentiment piece and this would be for the personal message since it would be hard to write on that pattern paper. Now the original sketch this month would have you putting this background pattern paper on the front of the card behind the sentiment piece and then the inside would be completely blank for a message. But I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and show you other ways to use sheet load. I also changed up the color of my gems depending upon the pattern paper on the focal point on the front. The pattern paper on the front was always the opposite pattern paper from on the inside. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. Remember, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel, but we're just going to go on the honor system here. If you click on download or on print, please make sure that you are a subscriber to my channel. All the way in the bottom of the description box below is a link to a PDF file. You can click on that and you can download it and or print the file. Please remember these are for personal use only. If you have a friend or family member that would like the sheet load of cards, please direct them to my channel to download those files. Now don't forget, I will be back tomorrow to show you how I made today's cards. Until then, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.